Hi everyone, I am Dayan Pactolerin. I am here to tell you all about the life of a saint. The life of Saint Alexis Falconeri. I know that some of you doesn't know or doesn't familiarize yet who is Saint Alexis Falconeri because he is from Florence, Italy. I have a picture of him to para mailan niyo siya kung kinsa siya. Here, di siya maklaro. This is Saint Alexis Falconeri. To begin this discussion, we have to know all about the life of Saint Alexis Falconeri. Saint Alexis Falconeri was a wealthy noble in one of Italy's most wealthy and cultured cities. Siya ay isa sa pinakamayamang marangal na nakatira sa isang lungsod ng Italy, which is Florence. Isa siya sa pinakadato nga naninirahan, nga marangal na tao na naninirahan sa lungsod ng Italy. And yet, he left that life behind him when Mary visited him and, and asked him to dedicate his life to God. And si Saint Alexis Falconeri, sa walay pagduha-duha, nisugot siya sa giingon o sa hangyo ni Mary sa iyaha. The spirituality he helped forge continues to shape the world. Saint Falconeri was born in Florence in 1200s. He is the son of a wealthy merchant. When we say wealthy merchant, isya isang anak ng isang mayamang mga ngalakal. Even as a child, he was known for his piety and humility. Means, kilala siya bilang banal at humble na tao. As a young man, he joined an organization dedicated to honoring the Blessed Virgin. In 1233, Falconeri and six other men from this group received a vision from Mary. They had a group consist of seven people. Isa na na to si Alexis Falconeri. Moto gitawag sila the seven young nobles. Mary asked these seven young nobles to dedicate their lives to God. And yes, they did, founding a religious order. They took up a common life together and were later again visited by Mary, who held a black habit and told them, I have chosen you to be my first servants, and under this name you have to till my son's vineyard. That means, ana si Mary nga, sa ilalim ng pangalang ito ay magsasaka kayo sa ubasan ng aking anak. Ano na po si Mary nga? Here too is the habit which you are to wear. Its dark color will recall the pangs which I suffered on the day when I stood by the cross of my only son. Ang pasabot ni Mary ato kay, ang yatagan niya o black nga sa nina ang seven young nobles o katod ako nga sa nina kay ma-remember ma niya ang mga kaning mga kasakit nga yung nagian na, bang katong na, when, he, when she stood up sa beside ni beside kay Jesus when Jesus was crucified and those seven young nobles had a community they named that community the Order of Servants of Mary, or now known as the Servites. And that order was spread globally, especially throughout Germany and France. And within few years, some 10,000 people had joined their community. And chata na kayo sa feeling na dalan kayo na join sa ilang community. Dalan kayo na kwan bitong ganahan sa ilang and the Servites were the first to promote a special devotion to Mary under the title of Our Lady of Sorrows. And this devotion had a great impact upon Blessed Basil Muru, founder of the Congregation of Holy Cross. And Blessed Basil Muru placed the congregation under her patronage. The Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows is on September 15. That remains an important day in the lives 
of the priests, brothers, and sisters of the Holy Cross. After receiving his vision of Mary, Saint Alexis left all he had. He took on a vow of poverty and depended upon others for his food and shelter. Just months earlier, he had been seen as one of the most prominent nobles in the city of Florence, and now he was wandering the region begging alms for the support of the Servite community. His humility remained a defining characteristic. He thought himself unworthy to seek ordination to the priesthood. Saint Alexis Falconeri lived for 110 years. Saint Alexis Falconeri, who left a life as a prominent noble to become a humble servant of Mary. The Servites received papal approval from Pope Benedict XI in 1304, and Saint Alexis Falconeri was the only founding member that is still alive. He died at Montesinario on February 17, 1310, recorded as 110 years old. Saint Alexis Falconeri and his companions are called the Seven Holy Founders. They were canonized by Pope Leo XIII on January 15, 1888. That's all for this video. I hope you learned something from me. To the life of Saint Alexis Falconeri. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye.